Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have a massive leak to talk about today, guys. It's one of an SBC of a player that people have been wanting to see for ages on this game. So we have to talk about that, how it may be impacting the market in the coming days, and also Golazo team number two dropped all new icons and heroes in packs, and I would say that it kind of lived up to our expectations. A good SBC, a very crazy Evo, and even some solid objectives. We're going to talk about all of that in today's video and look forward to what today brings on FC24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over everything yesterday quickly, as quick as we can at least. Pro Fromo Fridays always bring so much content, it's hard to get through fast. But let's look through Golazo content before we get into the biggest news from yesterday is the big league. But starting with objectives, we had the Golazo daily play. It is returning for this promo in the second week. I love it, right? The daily play objectives are always amazing for the packs that you get. You get an 81 double, an 83 double, and an 80 times 5. You actually get two 81 doubles. So that's really solid for just playing a couple of games each day. And then, of course, for the daily completion, you do get some XP. And by the end, you're getting some pretty baller packs uh, like 84 doubles, 80 times 10s, and 86 times 2, and then an 85 5 for the group reward. So no complaints there for me. We also had... An icon version of a player that we've already seen, Jabi Alonso, got a little bro version in objectives here. Four star, four star, high, high work rates, long ball, and intercept. Plus, I mean, solid card if you did not use the big bro version, if you weren't able to pack it or buy him last week. I think this is a nice alternate version that you can get. And of course, there is XP that is involved in this as well so it's kind of a must do if you're trying to grind the xp as fast as you can how much longer do we have in the season we have 19 days left in this season so plenty of time to get to the end of course it's a bit of a longer season not just like 30 levels we got to go all the way to level 40 i know a lot of you guys are maybe getting close to 30 somewhere between like level 20 and 30 is where i feel like a decent amount of people are right now if you've been playing the game pretty consistently so got to keep grinding that xp got to keep building it up there so objectives yesterday Nice. Can't complain too much. Solid. Let's go to SBCs because we did have some decent SBC content yesterday. Just to get a few of the random ones out of the way. We're getting upgrade packs on Fridays now every single week. The 81 double came out. I don't even know what this requires, but five rares? Yeah, no thanks. I mean, I'll be completely honest. The 81 plus player picks and player picks in general have just been so clear of the other upgrade packs. We also had the 83 plus player pick re-released. We had a Eredivisie player of the month as well. Um, Serhais, Kaj Serhais, a striker with um, chip shot and power shot, 4-4 high low. I believe he's really, really cheap to do, so if you want to get that done, you can easily do that. Now, the big SBC yesterday was King Cantona, and he was leaked, he was expected, and he was dropped. Now, the interesting thing is, it looks like it's not going to be like an Al Wayburn situation. I think this is going to be the only version of Cantona, guys, unless he's going to have an even higher rated version that comes into packs, looks like this is going to be the Cantona version that we have. He's got technical plus, he's got chip shot, five star skills, four star weak foot. It is a nice card. I think they could have maybe boosted the passing to 90 and would have made him really crazy. Uh, but if I think about this card, and I think about the price of what he would maybe be on the market, um, you know, the SBC price comes in at a, at a decent area. For a player that i I think most people probably haven't used this year unless you pack the Thunderstruck or you maybe just bought the base at some point during the year to try him out. Maybe if you're a United fan or whatever. If this is an icon that you want to use and want to try, I think this SBC is decent. It's coming in at 1.3 million coins. 14 squads seems like a lot, um, but the price doesn't seem like too much, I guess. 1.3 mil for this card. If he was on the market, I do think he would be less, but I also think that's just kind of the nature of this promo. Like, if you take a look at this Cantona compared to Kaká, that's kind of a good way you can compare, right? Kaká right now is 1.3 mil. Cantona is 1.3 mil SBC value. Kaká is probably going to drop below that. But, um, you know, Cantona compared to Kaká, he's not a bad card. So I don't think this SBC is terribly priced. If it's a Cantona card that you can't um, play this game without, if you have wanted to get him all year, this is your chance to get him, then go ahead and do it. I don't think it's a must-craft, though. And again, with the leaks that we have out... Maybe it is a wait and see type of situation. I think right now for me, I'm not starting a new icon SBC until we get some concrete evidence and news on what this big icon SBC leak is. 
or this leak, this Brazilian leak in general, that is going to be coming soon. But that SBC is solid. Now let's go to Evos, because this was something we also did not expect. EA surprised us a little bit again yesterday with an Evo that was not leaked, no news whatsoever, unleashing potential. Guys, honestly, this is a W. This is a W Evo. I know it's not the biggest of stat boosts, like you're talking plus one pace, plus one shooting, two passing, two dribbling, one uh, defense, and one physical. It's kind of just like an in-form upgrade. Basically, you take an 88 rated card, maximum 88, and you can give them a plus one in-form upgrade and take them to an 89 rated. The cool part about this and why it's actually kind of a crazy Evo is, number one, it's free. It's not that many games. You do have to play some rivals or champs, which is slightly annoying for the boost that you are getting getting but it just allows you to put in so many crazy players that have not been evolvable yet this year especially players that maybe fit into my team like this Rafael Varane Thunderstruck is a card that I've used in my team for ages I have the opportunity to upgrade him to an 89 and make him even better just for an extra couple of games I'm super down for that maybe some other cards that you have in your club you're thinking of putting into this I was really thinking of putting Rigoni like an evoed version of a card that I've had for ages in my ultimate team Going to 99 passing, like, sign me up. Like, that would be a sick boost for this card. So, that's the thing that I think is really, really hyped about this Evo, is it, it's free, and you can give, honestly, a nice inform upgrade to somebody who's already good that maybe just needs a little bit better of stats. It made some prices on the market go bananas. Specifically, this Cristiano Ronaldo inform. Guys, we had the Ronaldo Evo last week, right? To get Power Shot and to get Finesse Plus on his card, and but have a lot less pace, right? Well, you can go get his inform on the market for right now and put him into this Evo, and he gets upgraded to an 89. Now, in my opinion, is it worth buying somebody off the market to go and do this Evo? Probably not, unless you're going to go do Ronaldo. Even if you're going to do Ronaldo, what I'd tell you to do is just wait. Do the Team League player picks this week. Open packs. You might pack him from all the other packs that are out right now. And that might give you an opportunity to spend 180 k less than you would if you were just going to go buy him off the market to start the Evo. So that's one thing I would mention. But look at this crazy spike. We saw this on stream yesterday. As the Evo was dropped, people went out to the market and bought these cards up like crazy that fit the Evo. Ronaldo went from 150 k up to 300 He's kind of been around 180 ever since. He kind of dropped back down and then has gone slowly back up. Trinity Rodman is another one. I actually have her in my club. I'm not a huge fan of this card, so I'm probably not going to evolve her. But she went from 200 k all the way to 300,000 coins. I mean, like, uh, Base Vieira, I believe, had a crazy price spike yesterday as well, as a lot of people were buying a Base Icon Vieira since he's 88 rated and no other attribute requirements on this Evo. He went from 360k all the way to 500,000 coins. He's now around 400k, so up a little bit. But that's something to watch out for is some of these cards that are inflated. If you have them, not a bad time to sell just because... They're inflated right now for this evolution. So, again, it's not a crazy Evo. It's also one that if you can't decide who to put into it because there's so many options, hold off. Like, this is the type of Evo that you could very easily fit into an Evo chain if you're putting somebody in and upgrading them from a lower level to a higher one. However that may look, this is an Evo that you could fit in the middle or the end of a chain because you can have two playstyle pluses. You can have whatever. Anybody who's 88 rated can fit into this so that's just something to kind of keep in mind is that it's out for 20 days maybe it's worth sitting on for a little bit right now until we get more evolutions and we do have another leaked evo that could potentially be coming out today or tomorrow we're going to talk about that in today's video as well now let's talk about these cards right here golasso team number two very solid team. Again, guys, I don't know. We're looking at this team right now and the way that it was dropped yesterday, I think it was maybe slightly lackluster in terms of the players. This mini release that we're hopefully going to have either today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday, which I think, if I remember right, last week the mini release dropped on a Saturday, I think. Um, we're missing Desai. We're missing Lineker. We're missing Robbie Keane. We're missing some kind of bigger name heroes and icons that we were expecting to see in this Golasso team. But nonetheless, we have a really nice team in packs, guys. They did the juice on a couple of cards, and a couple of cards they kind of didn't. Like this Drogba card, man, I actually packed him yesterday. Seems like almost everybody was packing Drogba. His pack weight is up 
very, very high from that 330,000 coin pack that is in the store. A lot of people were getting this guy yesterday. So Drogba's 500k right now. I would have to imagine that he's going to go down even further today. You guys know how it goes, especially with last week at the Golazo team and how these card prices move. They maybe go up a little bit to start the day on Saturday, but then they're just going to drop down even further, even though they seem so cheap already. Look at Cordoba. 735k for that level of center back is nuts. Vidic, shout out to EA for this boost here. Five-star weak foot on Vidic. Bro has Bruiser and Aerial Plus. Does he have Anticipate? I didn't even look. He does not have Anticipate. It's a bit of a bummer, but the rest of his card looks really, really cracked. 96 defending and 95 physical. Whoa, 55 dribbling. I did not notice that. Okay, well, basically just tackle and then pass uh, with him. 99 penalties as well. I mean, that's an, an interesting center back to try. Vidic is always pretty good in game. Cordoba is going to be great too. I think this is a card here. The Roberto Carlos, they got a crazy boost. Five-star, five-star. He might be one of the best left backs in the game right there. Jorginho's cracked. Kaká is good. Viali, Park Ji Sung looks really, really meta as well. Harry Kuehl might be one of the best budget five-star, five-star cards in the game. Rapid Plus and Power Shot Plus. He's also pretty rare on the market. I would expect him to drop today. But uh, overall, solid promo team. Really, solid promo team. And when it comes to the pack weight, guys, you see the prices already right there it is very reminiscent of last week with golazo team number one these cards are very packable once again um i only packed a couple yesterday but mostly what i was packing them from or was the big store pack and the 83 times 10 i had a bunch of people tweeting me yesterday some really really insane 83 times 10s so it's once again another week where these icons and these heroes are going to be semi-packable from the 83 times 10s that will be uh, they were opened yesterday and from all the other SBC packs that we'll be getting there's a decent chance so even if you're saving packs right now maybe you save a few packs but I still think you can rip packs during this week of content um, even if you're looking towards team of the season and saving I think it's okay to rip a few this week just because there are some decent cards that are in packs now I would expect more packs to be dropped in the store today um, I think they dropped a 500k pack and there's always some confusion with this guys uh, some people were saying that oh my goodness Nate uh, EA messed up there's team one cards of the Golasso promo uh, in packs well this 500k pack includes guaranteed players from team one or team two of the Golasso promo so Sorry, that is one thing I wanted to mention right there. You can actually pack players from Team 1, just like it was last the last couple weeks with the foot birthday. But I did open the 330k pack, and I'm going to trade to get those coins back because I ain't letting those coins just go to waste. But, um, yeah, that was, a, again, a really solid pack to have a shot at getting somebody good, um, especially in the attackers. That's where I got Drogba. Um, I packed Viali in that same pack as well. I'll open one pack right now for the lads. French center. Wait, Benz? And Kunku, okay, walkout, double walkout. All right, not a double walkout. But yeah, pack weight yesterday was decent, especially for the new promo cards. So I'm going to be opening packs and probably not saving anything yet for team of the season. We're a bit ways off from that, in my opinion. Now, guys, the biggest news in this game right now is once again the icon leak that dropped yesterday. And oh, Salah, sign me up, man. Let's freaking go. I'm glad I opened that pack right now. I just had a feeling I had to open it. Bang. Guys, this is the tweet that's making everybody go bananas right now on this game. FIFA Romania yesterday tweeted this. The Bombazo emote and then the Brazilian flag. And somebody responded underneath SBC question mark. And he said, yes. Guys, if there's this many Bombazo emotes on this tweet, you know what that means. If you've not been around the league scene, the ultimate team scene for a while, that means it is a massive Massive player SBC that is coming to this game, all right? So all that we know right now is that it is a Brazilian player, but we have some guesses, okay? We have some guesses because based on who has gotten cards recently, who has gotten SBCs recently, we can rule out a few players. And guys, there are some more rumors floating around. It is widely believed at this moment in time with this amount of hype, this amount of talk, and even some other people possibly knowing the leak themselves it is possibly believed that this is a Ronaldinho SBC coming to FC24. People have been asking for a Ronaldinho SBC for ages. This is the type of SBC I would say 
eclipses the hype of Mia Hamm because it's Ronaldinho. Five-star skill is Ronaldinho in this game. Trickstar Plus. Now, the question is, is the base version going to be released or is it going to be the Thunderstruck? I really doubt that it would be the Future Stars 8 million coin Ronaldinho. Guys, I'm really thinking it's going to be the base version. I don't think it's known for sure. If it's the Thunderstruck, that would be crazy. It would, of course, be even more expensive if it was. Quick Step Plus, I mean, this is a 5 million coin card. That would be the most expensive icon that we would have had in SBC for this entire year. I think there is a greater shot of it being a Ronaldinho base SBC. But even if it's Ronaldinho base, it's still going to be a fun SBC to do and a very, very worth it card just because it is... Dino. Now, here's a couple of things where we can kind of tell it might be Dino. Yesterday, his price went from 2.4 mil all the way down to 2.2. He's even under that right now. He's like dipping under 2.2 mil. Again, guys, it hasn't been officially confirmed. So we're really kind of, I mean, we're guessing, but also it's looking very likely that this is happening. But this would be crazy. This would be a game changing SBC for so many people. And that's why earlier in the video and even yesterday on stream, when this was being first talked about and the idea of a Ronaldinho SBC was floating around. Like if you want to do Cantona or like myself, I would wanted to start it on Mia Ham. Like I'm going to wait now. I'm going to wait and see if this actually happens, because if this leak is true, then this SBC, when did Mia Ham drop? I think Mia Ham dropped last Sunday. That would mean that probably whoever this is, if it is Ronaldinho and if it is an icon, probably dropping on sometime between today on Saturday, tomorrow on Sunday, and maybe Monday, right? In the next couple of days, that is when this type of SBC would be released. So that's crazy, right? Agreed. It's mental. Now, do we need to invest in this? Feel like, Nate, I'm, I'm doing Ronaldinho 100% or that's an SBC that I would want to craft to at some point. It's going to be out for a long time. So even if you don't want to do it right away, just like the Mia Ham, just like the Franck Ribéry, it's probably going to be out for like 60 days. Once Team of the Season gets here in like 20 days or less, you know, it's going to be able to be crafted very easy too. But do you need to invest in fodder? And the easy answer is, I don't think you do. The only part of fodder that you would probably need to buy would be some 89s, 90s, and 91s. And I would specifically emphasize the 90s and 91s. And some of these prices started to go up yesterday because of this. 33K for De Bruyne, that is very low. That is very low. Remember on Thursday when Cantona was first leaked, De Bruyne went from 35K up to 37, and he was even 38K after content, and then it's just been dropping since then. Wow, he was 33,000 coins. That is very, very low for a 91 rated card. If Ronaldinho were to come out, even if it's just this 93 rated version, guys, the base version, it's probably going to have multiple 90 rated squads inside of it, right? Mia Ham's SBC was valued at 2.2 mil when she first came out. There's two 90 rated squads inside of her SBC. And since this Ronaldinho was 2. Point, how many million coins this last week? He was 3.3 .3 million coins literally two weeks ago. And he is now between basically 2.2 to 2.4. Again, Mia Ham dropped off a lot after she was um, released. This card would drop off a bunch as well. It's not a good time to buy this Dino. But if I had to guess, if it is the base Dino that we're getting, I'm going to guess it's going to be around... And I know this is not a good price because it's cheaper than what the card is on the market. But I think the SBC would be around 2.5 million, guys. I really do. I think it would be more expensive than Mia Ham, just because it's Ronaldinho, guys. And they know that fodder is so accessible in this game. It is everywhere. We can all get it through the Rivals rewards, through Champs rewards, through objectives. They're just giving us fodder like crazy. And they've been overpricing the SBCs a little bit compared to the market because of that. So... That's kind of where I would expect. Put the expectation maybe a little bit high. And if it's less than that, we're happy. If it's more than that, we're not very happy. But the SBC is still there. So I'm going to guess 2.5 mil for this SBC when it drops. Now, if they drop this, if they drop this Dino, like yesterday, this Dino went from 5.4 mil down to about 4.9, 4.8. And he's 5.1 right now. If they go with this crazy version of Ronaldinho, then we're probably looking at a 5.5 million coin SBC which would be mental. Um, I don't know how EA would come up with a value of a five and a half. That would be like 30 squads, something, you know, like last year at the end of the year during footies, we saw like 30 squad SBCs and 40 squad. I think it was a 50 squad that the Ronaldo was like 50 squads, right? Um, that sort of thing might happen if they do this, but I just don't think they're going to guys. I think they're going to go with the base version. We just had a base Mia Ham released. So that's my say there, but maybe stock up on some nineties and 91s. 
if you know for sure that you're going to want to do that SBC and make your life a little bit easier. One other shout that I would have would be maybe you take a look at snagging one or two Vialis and maybe a Prince. Prince needs a price range downgrade because uh, she's at minimum price. But Viali from this promo is uh, now the cheapest 93 rated card. He's definitely usable, but he could probably drop lower today. If he goes into the low 60K range, that in my opinion, maybe even in the 50s, if he goes below 60K, I would buy a couple of those and put it on my transfer list because he would be the cheapest 93 rated card for this next week or two when Dino is out. And that means he could potentially rise up a little bit as a fodder investment. So we're kind of talking like Dino is kind of the leak. Um, and I do believe that it is Dino, guys. Again, I know it's it's not 100% confirmed, but the rumors are swirling. It's it's kind of, it's around. It is around that it might be Ronaldinho, and that would be crazy. So I'm kind of, I've got a lot of fodder right now, and I'm kind of just sitting on that fodder right now and just waiting to see what happens before I really decide where I want to put my fodder that I've gotten from rewards and all of that and where I want to start grinding to. But that would be massive. I, I know, guys, people have been wanting to use a Ronaldinho in this game. If you don't have the coins to buy a Ronaldinho like that, that's the glory of the Icon SPC, right? The best part about it is that you can work the menus, grind the game, put in a shift, and you can end up getting yourself a card that you would never be able to afford by just buying it off the market with coins. Again, that's why Icon SPCs are great. And this Dino will just be different in game because it is Ronaldinho. So, that is something exciting to look forward to. Watch out for that leak to maybe be confirmed today. If there are some tweets put out, I'm sure there are. I mean, guys, when, when these guys with the leaks post tweets like this, usually it is a tease, right? And then they do confirm the leak later on with a more specific tweet saying, it is Dino or whatever. So watch out for that today. That's uh, That could be big, big news. Even if the SBC drops today, that'd be a big surprise. But if it does... Um, we will be there, right? We will be there. Now, let's talk about more of today, content today on Saturday. What else to look out for? Some of the players that we talked about in this Golasso promo that we missed, right? There's one big name that's not even being talked about that I didn't even mention. He's not in packs, maybe not even in the mini release. Well, that's because he's going to be an SBC. Essien is coming as a Golasso SBC insane SBCs right now in this game, if we think about it, right? The Mia Ham, we're about to get a Ronaldinho, an Essien, a Cantona. We got Socrates, Ribery a couple weeks ago. Like, we have an insane amount of Icon SBCs right now in this game. This card right here could be very, very, very good in game. Like, incredible in game. His Team of the Year card, I've played against many times, and that's a problem to play against. Um, I know that Team of the Year card is not that expensive on the market anymore, but depending on the boost they give this SCN, he could be a very, very good item. Golazo SBC potentially coming soon. Watch out for that. And again, I mentioned the mini release. I think the mini release last week was on Saturday, guys, if I remember correctly, because then they dropped the 650k pack in the store. If that were to happen today, you could see Desai coming into this game today. You could see a couple of those cards like Lineker and Robbie Keane, who were not dropped right away, added to the game today on Saturday. So that's one thing to watch out for. Speaking of icons, continuing the trend, I do believe, and since I did it, I'll be able to check, the 88-plus icon pack or pick, um, it usually refreshes on Saturdays, even though it says it's expiring tomorrow, which it is. I think it might even refresh today. So that's one thing to watch out for. If you have some higher rated fodder and you want to gamble a bit, that could be a place where you go. And then the 8310 expires today. Question is, will we get the 83 times 10 back? Will it be the 84 times 5? Will we maybe get an 85 times 7 or an 84 times 7? I think there might be a different upgrade pack coming today to kind of spice it up. We've been having the same three, 8310, 845, 8220. Not complaining. I like all three of those to some degree. I'm glad that we have them out. I think the 83 times 10 is my favorite. 84 five times, 84 five second favorite. But if we're getting an 84 seven or something like that uh, today, that could spice some things up, but it probably still would be the nice multiple times per day repeatable version that we have had. But something will replace that today on this game for sure. And last but not least, we do have another Evo leak, guys. 99 shooting. We already had a 99 shooting Evo, but evidently we're getting another one. Another 99 shooting Evo is set to come to Ultimate Team soon. What players would you like to upgrade? That is the leak here from Foot Police. So we will keep a close eye on Evolutions again today. If we are getting another 99 overall shooting Evo, that would mean there are two that would be here in the active parts of the game. Oh, 
I have to choose birthday magic in 12 hours. I got to decide by tomorrow, guys, or today at content time, who I'm going to put into the birthday magic Evo. Don't forget, especially because this is a, a re-evolution. I need to decide who I'm putting into this ASAP. All right. Thank you for reminding myself by looking at evolutions because I definitely need to do that because that is a very, very worth it Evo. But I digress. Today on Saturday will be a very interesting day, especially for the market as well. Guys, a lot of prices. We haven't even covered this yet. But to end off the video, let's talk market. The market is down horrendous once again. Like prices almost everywhere are down bad because these new cards that have come out are cheap. People want to use them and try them as the icons and the heroes always have hype around them, especially once again, just like last week with Team 1, it is again players who people have not used too much of this year and they're very hyped to go and try them out and to give them uh, a run out because again, they have not used them at all this year. So that is one thing to watch out for today is that market prices will probably continue to drop. The best place to be trading on this game is with out of pack special cards. I did not trade a whole lot yesterday. Honestly, Fridays recently have just been better to sit back. Uh, I bought a Declan Rice, made some money there. I did buy a couple of Harry Kules at 330, just some small flips there. Messi was a snipe at 510. Um, and then I still have, I bought a Tony Cruz for 1.75. I was just checking his price. Um, you know, Champions League is upcoming. So this is an early shout right now to maybe also keep a like, you know, just deny on some of those road to the finals because you got games coming up this next week. I know people are going to be investing in these. Wow, Lukaku is down horrendous because of uh, Drogba dropping yesterday on this game. He is down crazy. So just kind of take a look at some of the matchups and, and uh, players that are going to be playing this next week. And if you like a favorable opportunity there and you want to invest a bit, you know, some of these are up. Sule's up a lot, like 15K. Donnarumma is up. So be careful with those. But those games are coming this week, and that means there's potential for player prices to increase ahead of the live games that people always get excited for. So, guys, that's kind of this game right now at the moment, man. I mean, Weekend League is grindy as ever, bro. It is grindy as ever. I just started playing yesterday, um, and it was tough. Like, of course, I packed a new Drogba, and it was I, it was tough. I'll be honest. It was tough to get around to this card. I did start with an engine on him, and I put a Hawk on him. Probably should go back to the engine or just run a basic because he he was good. His power shots were wicked fast, but the gameplay was horrendous, and I was playing poorly myself as well. I'm not going to uh, overstate that or understate that. I was playing very poorly myself, so it just made it a not very fun experience. But the stats in this card make him look one of the most fun in the game, and people are really excited to try him right now. So I'm excited to have packed him, and hopefully he stays in the team for a bit uh, because he's definitely going to be a fun card to use. I just got to get around to... How are we using that DDA Drogba? So hope you guys have a great Saturday. Big games on today. A lot of action in the real world of football and especially some action here with stuff going on in FC24. So if you're excited for a potential Dino SBC, drop a freaking thumbs up on the video, man. If you enjoyed the video today too, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Comment down below any questions and your best Golazo Team 2 pack pool. I've seen a lot of you guys packing good cards. I want to see who you got down in the comments below. But I'll see you guys for a video tomorrow. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys there. Peace. Out.